All right. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a full fledged 2D and 3D game using AI. And to be honest, it is nothing like anything I've ever seen in my life. So today I'm going to introduce a cool new AI tool specifically designed just as to develop 3D games using AI. And the best part, all these games that you see on the screen right now are created entirely using the platform that I'm about to show you in this video. And the AI tool is called Rosebud AI. And now if you're quite active on X or Twitter, you might already know this guy called as Peter Levels. And this guy has actually created a simple aircraft game. And the game is now doing over $77,000 MRR. And this guy has actually built this game and is now selling ad spots within the game and is monetizing and making money. Now, this is one way of just creating a game and making money. And there are a lot of more avenues to create money or let's say make money from a game. And today in this video, I will walk you through the entire process of creating a game using AI from scratch using Rosebud AI. And if that sounds interesting, without wasting any further time, let's jump straight in. All right. So this writer is Rosebud AI, and this is the AI platform that we'll be using today to create all these cool games. And the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to rosebud.ai and sign up for a new account. And even before I start this video, let me show you some of these games that people have created using Rosebud AI so that you can get a glimpse of as to what you can build using the platform. So this writer is a game entirely created using Rosebud AI. And as you can see, I can walk around in this 3D plane and shoot down these, let's say, zombies. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at the detailing, the snow, the colors and all that. It looks really good. Okay, do they attack me? Oh, look at that lasers. Everything pretty much looks good and this game is created entirely using Rosebud AI. Not just this, this one with a UI similar to that of Minecraft is also created using Rosebud AI. The exact same AI tool that we'll be using today to create our game. Okay, now let's just head back to Rosebud AI and obviously the first thing that you got to do is to sign up for a new account. And once you log into your account, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. Up to the top, you can find an input box where you can enter exactly what you want to build. So you can give a simple prompt and hit the send button and the AI will start writing the code. But if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to find a lot of these games that other people have created using Rosebud AI. So here we have a couple of these options like trending, apps, 3D, AI characters, education, etc, etc. For example, let me just go ahead and open a random game. So let's say Tower Defense. So let me open it up. So as you can see, here we have a game. And to be honest, I don't know how to play this, but yeah, this is one of these games that is created using Rosebud. In a similar fashion, you can actually go ahead and explore all these games that other people have created using Rosebud. So now let's just go ahead and try to create our first game using Rosebud AI. And now as for creating the game, you have two options. The first is to just go ahead and enter whatever description that you have in here and press enter. And you can go ahead and start building the game from scratch. But if you want to, you can also go ahead and select any of these, let's say templates and remix it and start building the game as well. For example, let's say you're building a 3D game and you want a 3D ground. You can actually go ahead and use 3D blank, either of this one and start building on top of that one. But for now, let's just say I want to uh, create one from scratch. So I'll go ahead and say a 3D first person shooter game. OK, so this is the initial prompt that I'll give and I'll go ahead and hit enter. So it says a 3D first person shooter game. And let's wait for the AI to complete coding the initial part. OK, seems like the initial version is now complete and this is what it has created. So we can use the WASD key to move around and we have these random boxes. And if I click on that one, yes, I can shoot it down. OK, so this is the initial version of the game. And yeah, exactly what we asked for is exactly working like the way it should. And now let's just go ahead and modify this game to make it look even better. OK, so next step, what I'll do is I'll move over to this assets tab right here. And let's say I want to add a texture to the ground so I can go ahead and type grass texture and select image and click on this generate button. So I went ahead and created a simple grass texture as you can see and I'll click on the insert option and I'll go ahead and say add this grass texture to the ground and hit enter. All right. So now the AI will go ahead and pick this grass image and put it as a texture on the game. And now as you can see, the AI has added the grass texture that we created. And next up, let's just say I want to add a crosshair. So right now we have this white box in here. So I want to replace it with the actual crosshair. So I can go ahead and say uh, 
add a plus sign cross here and hit enter and let's see all right so as you can see now we have a proper crosshair with this plus kind of a symbol okay next up let's just say i want to replace these boxes with actual zombies or some kind of uh let's say figures so i can go ahead and say replace the red rectangle boxes with uh zombies okay and i can hit enter and let's see all right so the ai has went ahead and created all these random looking zombies now this is far from perfection but it is a good starting point so instead of those red uh, boxes this looks far way better and now let's ask the ai to modify such that these zombies move around our game so they will be moving randomly within this plane so i can go ahead and say make the zombies move randomly within the game and i can hit enter okay we here we have a error so i'll click on this fix it option so whenever you encounter a error you can actually go ahead and click on this fix it option and the ai itself will go ahead and fix the error for you so you don't have to lift a finger so here we have some slight movement but they are not actually moving way too much so i want them to be randomly moving fast within this ground so i'll go ahead and say make the zombies walk to all four sides within the ground and hit enter all right so now as you can see the zombies are randomly moving within the game so they are randomly moving to all four direction exactly like what i wanted next up as you can see we don't really have a sky in here so next up let's just say add a realistic looking sky to the game and i'll go ahead and hit enter so basically right now we only have this black solid color instead of that i want to replace it with a realistic looking sky not exactly realistic looking sky but something similar to a sky let's see okay seems like that's done and now we have a nice sky in here so if we have this nice gradient colors and all that all right that looks good and let's say i want to make this ground a bit more bigger so that we can have a lot more space to move around so i can go ahead and say make the playground a bit more bigger all right so now we made the ground even bigger and now we have a lot more space to play with and if i try to shoot these zombies for some reason the shooting feature is not working so let's quickly go ahead and fix that okay let's see okay i can now shoot the zombies and they just disappear okay cool next up let's say i want to see the bullet as i shoot so let's say i want to see the bullet when i shoot and hit enter okay right now as you can see we have this bullet going around so when i shoot i can find the bullet okay so that feature is also working and next up let's just say i don't like the texture of this ground so rosebud ai also gives you the option to upload custom images and use it as a texture or for any purpose for example let's say i have a texture image of a grass i can click on this upload asset button and i can go ahead and drag and drop it in here for example let's say i want to use this image as the texture or let's say the grass texture so i can upload the same in here so here i have a nice grass texture and i can click on the insert button and i'll go ahead and say add this as the grass texture and hit enter now the ai will go ahead and replace the grass texture and the ground all right so that part is now completed so here we have the updated grass texture and next up let's just say we want to add some random obstacles or let's say trees within this uh a plane so i can go ahead and move over to the asset section and instead of image i can go ahead and select 3d asset and i can click tall tree hit enter or let's say tall pine tree and now as you can see here we have generated a tall pine tree 3d asset so i can insert it i will go ahead and say insert the pine tree randomly within the ground and i can hit enter and let's see so as you can see the ai has actually added all these pine trees but the thing is they are too small so i'll go ahead and say the trees appear way too small make it very large hit enter and now as you can see the trees are even larger and we have all these trees in the ground and next up let's just say i want to uh, add some animation effect when i shoot a zombie and when they die so i can go ahead and say add some effects 
and animations when I shoot a zombie hit enter all right so seems like that's done and now when I hit a zombie as you can see here we have a nice animation and the zombie turns into red okay exactly like what I wanted now you can go ahead and repeat the exact same process and keep giving instructions to the AI and build the exact game that you want to so as you saw, you can go ahead and create 3D assets, upload your own assets and put everything together and keep building the game. Alright, so as you can see, I further went ahead and modified the game and asked the AI to incorporate some tall skyscrapers, all these bushes and plants. And also I generated a 3D asset of a zombie and asked the AI to replace. And as you can see, these are the zombies that are randomly walking within our ground and I can shoot them down. We have that nice... Uh, blood flowing in there okay so seems like we have an error so let me quickly fix it up okay seems like the error is now fixed i can shoot the zombies i can see that blood and all that so the effects everything is working and next up let's just say i want to add some random flying aircraft in the sky so i can go ahead and say can you add some randomly flying aircrafts oops aircrafts in the sky and hit enter so basically i want to add some plane or something jet or something as such and when i look at the sky i should be able to see them flying over so let's see okay so seems like it's done let's see so here okay i can find some random aircrafts flying in the sky oh there we have one another one okay so that is now done next up let's just say i want to add a sound effect whenever i shoot for that i can move over to the assets tab and then click on upload asset and I can drag and drop a sound effect. So here I have downloaded a sound effect. Let's say a laser gun sound effect. This one right here. So I can click on this insert button and I can say whenever I shoot, I want to play this sound and hit enter. And now the AI will go ahead and add the sound effects. So let's wait. All right. So looks like it's done. So let me quickly go ahead and try to shoot. Okay, that's good. Okay. And now as you can see, the sound effect is also working. So we have these tall skyscrapers. We have these uh, aircrafts flying in the sky. We have this nice looking zombies trees, bushes and whatnot. In a similar fashion, you can actually go ahead and repeat the exact same process and add even more elements to the game, features, maybe let's say you want to uh, make the gun visible on the frame, you can do that and do all that kind of stuff. And to do all this, all you gotta do is to head over to rosebud.ai and you should be able to select a starter template or let's say start from scratch and build a game. And now if you want to, you can actually go ahead and publish this game. So for that, all you gotta do is to click on this publish button right here and you can go ahead and enter a title, description, enable or disable the publish mode. For now, I'll disable it and I can click on the publish button and it says publishing and here I have the link. And if I put this in a web browser and hit enter, people around the globe should be able to play my game. So here we have this tall skyscrapers, all these aircrafts flying around, bushes, trees, zombies sound effect wow and the best part i built all of this using ai and next up let's just say if you want to download the code for the same download the entire game you can go ahead and click on this download button and you can download the zip file of the game so as you can see here we have it and if you want to view the code you can click on this code option and view the code responsible for the game like the entire code so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So if you have any plans to build a 3D and realistic looking game using AI, rosebud.ai is the way to go. So all you gotta do is to head over to rosebud.ai, sign up for a new account, and you can start building all these games. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.